Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and to celebrate What Not The Game Show, this Thursday afternoon, I will be hosting a massive Lego auction, and yes, another free $500 Lego giveaway over on What Not. All you need to do is be there, and there are so many exciting things I cannot wait to showcase during this auction. This is going to be the last auction that's kind of pulling from my own personal collection and vault. We'll still have some of those in the future, but I'm really excited to announce that for future auctions, I've actually teamed up with the biggest used LEGO store on the West Coast to actually sell some of their inventory, so more on that later. But for now, let's go ahead and check out what I have to offer this Thursday afternoon. You can see the time on screen right now when you need to tune in. And don't forget, if you want to place any pre-orders or pre-bids, you can see the link down in the description below and check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is just a sneak peek at the craziness that we are going to have at Thursday night's auction. I, again, don't know exactly how long this is going to be, especially because I'm on a time limit and will be rushing off to the airport, and I do need to pack and ship everything before then. But this is just a sneak peek at what I have at for this auction. And if we don't get through everything, that's totally okay, because I probably will have a ton left over for a future auction as well. And really what I've tried to do is include something for everybody, no matter whether you're a vintage Lego fan or someone who prefers some of the newer items or someone who really likes animals or Bionicle, there's something here for you. Starting off with Bionicle, of course, we do have some of my favorite Bionicle sets, including Toa and Nika Jaller here with the working light-up sword. Super excited to get that in really good condition. We've also got some of the Rakshi from Bionicle as well as one of the classic Toa Nuva, Toa Pohatu Nuva right here. And we even have some of the larger sealed Bionicle sets, which are available right now under the buy it now section if you prefer individual masks and items we've got tons and tons of rare bionicle masks krana krata bionicle kanoka discs and even some of the rarest ones including the great discs those are signified by the number nine as the final digit these are the legendary great disc the toa searched for we have the very rare vahi disc the disc of time as well as even some of the rarest slicer or throwbots discs which only came in a few european polybags moving onwards from that we've got a ton of very unique lego items where right here, I was able to bring back a ton of special Legoland Japan items and Japan exclusives from my latest trip, including a Green Ninja Legoland Japan 2024 brick, which is probably one of the rarest items that I have here. In order to get that, I needed to buy 10 cookies to get it as a GWP. So of course, knowing me, I bought 20 cookies, kept one for myself, and got one for the auction. So it's a very niche item. It is a very weird GWP that you can only get at like one cookie stall, but... It is super cool how it actually has Lloyd with some cherry blossoms around him, and we even some have some of the Legoland factory for Legoland Japan bricks as well. Speaking of Japan exclusives, you may notice that I actually have the entire wave of Lego Animal Crossing in the Japan exclusive packaging. These I manually hand-packed and brought home because they are super special. I am really excited to be able to offer these because they're in great condition, and you can only get this style of packaging in Japan, which is really special for fans of Animal Crossing, these are available right now in the Buy It Now section, and I haven't even really charged that much above retail, pretty much just to cover my cost to actually buy them and pack them and ship them home, so it is what it is, but hopefully somebody will enjoy them because they are really, really cool. Moving onwards from that, speaking of regional exclusive items, I have gotten an absolute cornucopia of Europe exclusive Lego Ninjago and Lego Star Wars trading cards, including the incredibly rare Captain Rex and Clone Troopers from the Clone Wars style of trading card right there, which is really cool how they're still referencing that artwork. And yes, I do have a ton of Europe exclusive magazines as well, including this specialized tin for Ninjago Legacy featuring Lloyd versus Misdemeanor, who is a minifigure that previously was exclusive to Ninjago City Markets and now comes in that tin as well, which is super cool. And yes, I do have individual trading card packs. Everybody was asking for these on my previous auction, so I was able to actually get these straight from Europe. Lego Star Wars and Ninjago trading card game packs all ready to go. 
Now there are a couple of other exclusive sets here. First off, we have the Lego House minifigure tribute. This is the buildable large scale pirate, which is definitely one of the rarest sets that I have here. It's a really great set as well. It's one of my personal favorites. You can see my copy right here, right next to the buildable minifigure, which is obviously this one's a lot more complicated than the standard set version that we got with brick built peg legs, a printed map, the printed face, the hook and everything. It's just so, so cool. Moving on from that though, we actually have one that's even newer. This is the brand new Lego House building system set. It just released on March 1st, 2024. It is officially the 2024 Lego House exclusive set. And I just did a review of it on the channel so you can be one of the first to get it. And I got a few copies. I'm saving one to use as a prize for a future Lego trivia game. More on that later, but so far right now, I figured I'll just have one of these available for auction. Now, we do have a ton of these classic GWPs, including the Magisto's Magic Workshop, as well as the much sought after Micro Rocket Launchpad, which I know everybody is after, which sold out like almost immediately. So it's crazy that I was able to get these ones because this is such a cute little GWP. Moving on from that, we've got one of my favorite GWPs from last January. It's the Blacktron Cruiser. It's just an absolute classic, definitely one of the best ones to get. And I do even have some special giveaways as well, some Marvel sets. I'm giving away a signed copy of the Hedgehog Picnic Date, which is direct from the Lego house in Bill and Denmark, signed by the Lego designer, which is really cool. And we do have this vintage Lego sealed System Adventures Sam Sinister biplane, and even some giveaways of some of the latest Batwing sets, like the Batman vs. Joker Batwing from the 1989 Batman series. Yes, I will also be giving away the Boarding the Tantive 4 set. This is a brand new set, which just came out, including the Art Trooper 5's minifigure, which a lot of people are trying to get their hands on which is actually sold out in a lot of regions so happy to be able to give that away for free all you need to do is be subscribed and show up and also, I've got some other vintage LEGO sets, including some of these 2009 LEGO Pirates Loot Island set right here. This is a really good one. I love that very unique island base plate, and I'm really glad to be offering some actual LEGO sets this time. And of course, the set that introduced the LEGO Triceratops is this set from 2012, the LEGO Triceratops Trapper. It's an entire gigantic vehicle, with the Triceratops animal inside included in the set. So super hyped to be able to offer this one as an auction item. Plus the Praetorian Guards Battle Pack, which is just a really great one to have to army build for the Last Jedi. Moving onwards from that, for the very first time, I have a very limited selection of official Duck Bricks hats. This is really the first time I've had these available for offer. They have been made by my mom, and these will all kind of proceeds go to her, which is really nice. And you can get your chance to support Duck Bricks and the Duck Bricks family at the same time by getting a Duck Bricks hat. And this is our entire stock. I do not have any more other than one that I made for myself and one I made for my rival Emily for LEGO Masters. So you can get them while they're hot. Yes, of course, we do have a Rancor. Really excited to be able to showcase this one during the auction itself. And if you're looking for minifigures, I have a ton of the newest LEGO Ninjago Dragons Rising minifigures, including the phenomenal Climber Kai minifigure in dual molded dark red and gold. We've got Lord Roz, Cinder, Jordana, Eren, different versions of Lloyd. And going back to some older themes, we even have the Squid Warrior from LEGO Atlantis, as well as Commander Cody, Phase 2, and a ton of base sold the bat lords and yeah i just got lucky and happened to pull a lot of these ones which i'm so excited to showcase for the auction here one last thing is that i actually have these six mission bricks left i used to have two sets of these but these are the only ones that i have left you can only get these if you're invited on a private tour to ole kirk christensen founder of lego's original home they are so valuable i honestly don't really know how to price them but one of them sold last time for 150 dollars for the entire set so that's what i'm listing it for right now and it's your chance to get it because it's the last one i'm gonna get in maybe forever Moving onwards, of course, we always have a ton of poly bags, and at the bottom there are a ton of regional exclusive Ninjago poly bags, so I'm really excited to have those. I've got a bin full of animals, as usual, and as one last thing, for the first time ever, I'm making it even easier to get signed items. A lot of people often DM me for signatures, and one thing I will say is that I do try my best to uh, uh, kind of give a signature to every single person who asks for it, but sometimes I'll miss one or two here and there, and I feel really bad if I miss a signature. 
So what I've done is I've basically put these as a buy it now item. And if you go in, you make a purchase and you want to get a signature with it, just go ahead and just buy it now. And you can add this to your cart. So that way it's just a very easy way for me to inventory signatures. And because of that, I've done something a little nicer with these where they actually are my business cards. You can see Chris Duckbricks with QR codes on the back. And this is kind of my minifigure render as used throughout Lego Masters. So that's a really cool one to see. Overall, we of course have some favorite items here, including a skull truck from Ninjago signed by Tommy Anderson, creator of Ninjago. Both instruction manuals are actually signed by the creator himself, which is super cool. And altogether, this is just a really nice display of just some of the many things that I have available for auction this Thursday. And stay tuned because this is going to be one of the last standard LEGO auctions. The next one is going to be pretty crazy because I've actually partnered with the largest used LEGO store on the West Coast to start doing auctions with and for them. So stay tuned for that because the inventory is about to get even crazier. But for now, I hope you enjoy this special auction for Whatnot's Retro Rewind Blast celebration of, I think it's like a Whatnot Trivia game show, your chance to tune in on Thursday afternoon and take a look at some of the incredible items we have for auction. All right, and with that, we have summed up the overview of all of the incredible things we have available for this Thursday's auction. I hope to see you there. Again, $500 worth of this will be given away for free. So all you need to do is tune in to the auction on Thursday afternoon. I can't wait. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.